I just want to talk to you about the gospel. Because the gospel is going to be very hard for the people because the truth in the Bible exposed the worldliness, materialism and greed. And the gods of the sport, entertainment and fashion, the gospel is going to become a big bomb in satanism, false religion, false prophet. And it will be one story like in the book of Act. Persecution, the Antichrist will reveal with new world order and there will be a great moving of God that people will call revival. Yesterday I saw an interview that I have already seen before four years ago but this time will say sir listen very carefully. So I checked the video and it was an interview with the Mecca church pastor and this was their conversation. The journalist asked to pastor you've been criticized for for the church light for a cotton candy message and she asked do you feel like cheating people by not telling them about hell the hell part he replied to the journalist well i really don't because it is a different approach and it it's not hell fire and brainstorm but i say most people are beaten down by their life they already feel guilty enough that they 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 they're not doing what they should do raising their kids or even we can all find the reason i just want to come to my church or whatever a meeting and be lifted up to say you know what i may not be perfect but i'm moving forward and i'm doing better and i think that motivates you to do better after watching this video it broke my heart again i was like wait a minute Four years ago, I understand some other thing, but right now, it's making more sense. Look how the world recognized the sleeping church and cotton candy message. Those leading people into hell. And look, and look, there are some people in the church praying for their leaders that one day they will speak about hell. and spiritual warfare as a matter of fact people telling me that we are praying for our for our pastor for our ministry they coming to mamers and telling sir we be praying for years for my pastor to preach about this topic for what you are speaking and i feel so sad for them hell fire and brainstorm oh it's so deep it is so deep And next he said be in our meeting and be lifted up. Yeah, I know what you mean by lifted up. Lifted by their God Mammon. I'm doing better. What do you mean by doing better? What's coming out of your mouth? Jesus said if they hate him, they would hate you. Doing better? I'm fine. I'm good. I think that motivates you to do better. Freemasonic. That's a word from Freemasonic. That is a word from Freemasonic that people will say what what I do will motivates you to do better to do better what makes us better the motivation speaking we don't need any motivation speakers today we need prophets we need missionaries we need true evangelist we we need a prophet like Elijah who can stand in the mountain and 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 challenge Ahab challenge Jezebel Oh I heard that another prophet saying oh that Jezebel spirit it, it is not a seducing spirit but the, that the but that per, this the Jezebel spirit is a perfect I said what what are you talking about that Jezebel spirit is not a sexual read the book of revelation or go and read the book of kings that expose the sexual immorality the fallen these these are the these are the people that have been deceived all these thing and the thing it motivates you to do better what are you doing what you are speaking about you know you're not even mentioning about hell or oh, i have heard of people saying in the conversation what the hell is going on and this is my question to you have you ever think what the hell looked like are you thinking a party club then you're wrong also i have mentioned this thing there is a lot of people coming to the freemasonic also the for, to 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 join the brotherhood or secret society just to receive and all these people are motivation speakers 
how many motivational speakers are today in the church in the mega church and this is an actually they are their god is the mammon they are they, their god is the baphomet because they that's what the sacrifice that they're doing it they're not even mentioning about hell listen to what the bible said but as for the crawly the faithless the detestable for as for the murders the sexually immoral sorcerers idolaters and all liars their portion will be in the lake of lake that burns with the fire and sulfur which is the second death and do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell and these will go away into eternal punishment but the righteous into eternal life they will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut out from the presence of the lord and from the glory of his might if you hand cause you to sin cut it off it is better for you to enter into life maybe rather than having two hand to go to hell into the lake into the fire that shall never be quenched there is more there is more but let me read one more revelation chapter 20 the devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and they will torment the day and night forever and ever the sea gave up the dead who were in it and death and hades delivered up to the dead who were in them and they were judged each one according to his work then death and hades were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death and anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire folks have you ever seen real preachers i'm not talking about disciples or prophets i'm talking about today's leaders and missionaries I tell you a story of five missionaries. In January 1956, five missionaries died in an attempt to share the gospel with the Wadawanai tribe. Roger Ulurin, Tate Fleming, Jim Altheon, Nate Singh, Ed McCauley. Now, years later, their sacrifice has resulted in the reconciliation and transformation in the tribe. This story has inspired thousands, including me, to serve Christ. Listen to what Nate Sain wrote years ago. People who do not know the Lord ask why in the world we waste our life as a missionary. They forget they too are expending their life as when the bubble has burst. They sh- they will have nothing of external significance to show for the years they have wasted. People are wasting their time and ending up in the gates of hell. And let me tell you one thing one day your bubble will burst like a boom your story ends and i'm telling with my experience of my life you cannot tell your story in the hell but you can tell your story in heaven and this is what i need to be on that day if i'm going to face the persecution by religion and before people sing uh, before my people sing the amazing grace i want to say lord jesus i believe i fulfill the purpose of god and i will say lord i tried and this is my story what about you what's your story is your story about sexual sin is your story about a drug addict a murderer or worshiping a wicked idol there is a lot of gates way gates gates way to the hell there is only one way to heaven but there is a lot of gate to hell entertainment sports it can be sports it can be entertainment it can be drugs it can be it can be sexual sin pornography a lot many ways today before the judgment day you better have one story to tell some people want cotton candy messages from me sir speak like this you know we want to hear from something like silent We want to speak some we, we want to hear from from you something like this then this is the wrong number oh by the way i don't need any friends ezekiel chapter 16 behold this was the iniquity of thy system sodom pride fullness of bread and abundance of in the idleness was in her and in her daughter neither did she strain the hand of the poor and needy and they were haughty and committed abomination before me genesis chapter 19 verse 24 says then the law rain brimstone and fire on sodom and gomorrah from the law lord out of heaven 
Remember what the false prophet said? It is not about hellfire and brimstone. What's happening here? Jude chapter 7 says to Sodom and Gomorrah gave themselves up to sexual immorality and perversion. Some translations render as uh, this as an unnatural desire, but it literally means different flesh. This phase likely refers to the attempted rape of angels. Given that the Jude chapter 16 referred to the Nephilim of Genesis chapter 6, the angels who did not keep their position of authority but abandoned their proper dwelling. Out of more than 20 reference to Sodom and Gomorrah in the rest of scripture, none mention same sex be behavior as even part of regions of Sodom destruction. The Lord said, It will be like in the day of Noah, the Son of Man will be. The world lives in darkness as in the day of Noah. Wickedness have increased just as in the day of Noah. There are so many gates to hell, but there is only one gate to heaven, and we find Jesus Christ by receiving Him, Lord and Savior, the total repentance and total surrender. It is your choice to be in hell or heaven. It is your choice to be in darkness or light. Romans chapter 10 clearly speak about what to do next. But what does it say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. This is the word of faith which we preach that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from death and you will be saved. For with heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confess is made unto salvation. For the scriptures say whoever believe on him will not be put to shame. For there is no dis destination between Jew and Greek for the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I am the child of Most High God. So I am ready to hear the trumpet call. Are you ready? <laughs>